Okay everybody, so my name is Harry and I'll be taking you through this video tutorial on neuroscience. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is neuroscience is something that I'm absolutely fascinated by and I'd like to you know share that passion with you. It is fascinating and you know it's been the past uh, several many years um, studying it and uh, researching it and it's really how the brain works you know and how the nervous system works as a whole and what I'll be focusing on specifically is interdisciplinary and applied neuroscience because there's not much there, there are not many videos out there on this specifically so that's why I thought I'd, I'd make uh, these videos and so we're going to start with the this first video which is section one a contextual approach then we'll look at several other sections we'll look at the, the biochemistry of cells the molecular biology of cells uh, neural cells specifically and then we'll look at some neuroanatomy and neurophysiology the uh, organs at the organ systems level then histology section four section five cognition section six computation so that's that okay so neuroscience is the study of the nervous system the scientific study of the nervous system and we're going to look at how it works it is very interesting and we're going to focus on as I've said interdisciplinary and applied neuroscience and you know the brain is it's extremely complicated there's a lot we know about it there's uh, a lot we don't know about it and to really understand how the nervous system works you need to understand you, you have to study it from all fields of study we need a uh, approach from the physical sciences and engineering sciences we need um, obviously biological sciences social sciences and it's neuroscience is related to all of these fields and especially recently in the past few decades there's been I think more emphasis on the kind of interdisciplinary neuroscience the thing I do want to say though when you study a subject in school there's not much emphasis on this kind of interdisciplinary mindset which you know I think is a shame but I really hope that by the end of these videos you get a better grasp of how, how important it is to understand neuroscience from various different perspectives different fields of study okay and so okay so before we get started in more detail uh, I just want to make uh, two quick uh, announcements, two quick points. Uh, so the first point is the, the audience of these videos, and it's really for anybody. It's This is introductory level neuroscience, and even though we're going to cover more advanced topics, actually, we're not going to go, it, we're just going to cover it briefly, we're not going to go in a huge amount of depth. Okay, so this is for anyone who doesn't know much about neuroscience and who wants to know more about neuroscience. <coughs> Really, if you're a student in secondary school, you're just starting A level or other qualifications you're doing. This is for you. So if you're doing, if you're in sixth form or high school in the U.S., uh, wherever you are, and you're thinking of maybe doing neuroscience at university or biological sciences, then this is definitely going to be helpful for you. Uh, you know, I mean, again, as I say, you know, this is for pretty much anyone. Doesn't matter how age, how, how old you are. If you're interested in neuroscience, this is for you. Uh, if you're already a university student, this will certainly be helpful, especially the, for the more specialized topics, which I'll cover in, let's see, in section five and six. I'm sorry. Yes, in, in, later, in later videos, I'll cover certain topics in more detail. So, let's see. Oh, um, okay, and the other thing I want to say is, yes, please watch through the video if you do if you happen to like it you know please like and share and comment and subscribe and that is the best way for me to know that I should make more videos at least it will motivate me to make more videos and the other thing is uh, please you know put some comments in the comment section if you've got any questions I'll try and you know respond as soon as I can or if I can I'll try and do my best with that so I will reply I'll try but if there's any errors that you any mistakes you've spotted because I may make mistakes so let me know but I will make sure I make the corrections in the video description uh, just below also if you have any feedback you want to 
suggestions for improvements if there's certain things you want me to do for the next video that i didn't do in this video you know just let me know and that's it pretty much please read the description by the way if uh, you want a copy of this powerpoint it's uh please download it go into the description go on the link uh download it and you can print the uh, powerpoint you can then print it out yeah just do what you want with it you know so you have a copy that you can uh, read through in your own time also <clears throat> if you want to know more about me you know just look in the description uh, any edits that i'll make in the description references and other things so that's pretty much it for you know the description okay so now we're gonna make a proper start okay so neuroscience is interlinked with every other field of study as i said and it's very very interesting and we're going to see that things are going to get more much more complicated we'll, we'll start as simple then uh, it's going to become a little bit more complex i'll try and explain it the, the best i can as I said, you know, neuroscience is about the nervous system. All animals have a nervous system. And what we're going to look at is uh, humans in particular. That's what I know most about. And th the other important thing is if you do research, especially at university, you have to know about model organisms because a lot of, a lot of what we know about the nervous system is, you know, it is based on other organisms that we study. We can actually do invasive work on them. So for example, you know, we have other, other apes, rodents, rats and mice, dogs, cats, birds, reptiles, and also fruit flies. Believe it or not, we do a lot of neuroscience in fruit fly. And especially rodents. I mean, that is, rodents are really studied a lot in neuroscience, especially in electrophysiology. They have been studied for a long time and they are a model organism. So. There you go, we'll be talking about the nervous system. You see it at the bottom here, the nervous system. As you know, you'll be familiar with other organ systems, uh, the skeletal system, muscular system, circulatory system, endocrine system, <coughs> and so on. And the thing that you should understand is that the nervous system works, you know, it is intrinsically interconnected with all the other systems. For example, the muscular system or the cardiovascular system because the nervous system needs a blood supply. The endocrine system especially, we have the respiratory system, digestive system and so on. So <clears throat> it is very hard to study the nervous system uh, without the, con the greater context. So I just want to make that point right now. We're not going to look at all the other systems in depth. That's just something I, I really want to emphasize. Okay. And the other thing I want to talk about Mm. <clears throat> is historical timelines so I'm not going to go in much detail here please print the you know in the description print the the PowerPoint and have a look at it but you know it is important interesting and it's important to get an idea of the historical context of neuroscience so it starts really, you know, well, to, um, say a few hundred years ago, we have basic cases in neurology. We, we understand certain brain parts are responsible for certain functions. That's what we get from uh, neuroscience, you know, two, three hundred years ago. And <coughs> it gets really interesting in the early 1900s, the early 20th century. We know more about the neuron and how it works and sensory and motor systems. At the same time, we have other discoveries, other world events, and I just put these here because they give. It's just I, I always find it useful to to talk about neuroscience, but also talk about other the things that are happening in the world at that same time period. It kind of gives you a context to how things work. Uh, so, for example, uh, if we look at the 1960s and 1970s, where we had a by a molecular revolution and a technological revolution which are not really necessarily had to do with neuroscience but they did have an impact on neuroscience for example considerably better uh, processors and computer processors and microelectrodes to recall neural, neural cells advances in electrophysiology all these things are connected and it's always helpful to see how you, you can t take things which are completely not related necessarily but 
I just find it helpful to understand the greater context of things. This is essentially what this video is about. And now, in the past 10 years, we've had some very interesting advances with generation of neurons, uh, bio nanotechnology. Uh, we can, you know, connect electromechanical limbs to the biological nervous system. Uh, it's a uh, brain machine interface, it's uh, very interesting. And there's things in computational neuroscience. I'll, I'll discuss this in more detail in the later videos, especially. Uh, I guess uh, section three onwards and that's it I mean we have you know major brain projects happening in the EU and in the US we have a connectome project which seeks to look at all the connections in the brain how you know they are you know kind of mapping the brain's connections through histolo histology through uh, computational modeling and reconstructions um, to functional modeling it's very interesting and uh, of course, now that we have the internet, so you can have access to this video, of course, but also when it comes to research, we can c collaborate with different labs around the world. We can do really interesting things. And, you know, for this decade and the next decade is going to be very exciting stuff. Um, there will be very exciting things happening in neuroscience. Okay, so methods and techniques you have to know that how we know what we know the scientific method we have as you can see on the right here we have different uh, experimental techniques For example you know as I've mentioned lesions and histology uh, structural imaging functional imaging like uh, fMRI I think what I'll do I'll cover these more in uh, later videos especially in uh, yeah in, in, in further sections I'll talk more about these in more detail but the main idea I want you to get out of this is that we have methods to study the nervous system and from this we get this simple diagram which is actually a bit more complicated than that but the nervous system is essentially an input process and output just like a computer uh, you have sensory information that comes in you have different processes which non-conscious uh, regulatory processes also uh, conscious ones and we have the output which is the muscle contractions and behaviors and then you have a feedback loop and I'll talk more about this in uh, section 3 so we'll talk more yeah. and we'll cover all the different levels of organization from the molecules cells cell networks tissue organ organ systems populations and so on and also, what we'll go through in the next videos, we'll talk about the anatomy and physiology, how structure relates to function. I mean, that is a, a fundamental principle in, not just in biological sciences, in, in any science, and I don't think it's emphasized enough, but structure relates to function. That is like a fundamental, in neuroscience, that is absolutely fundamental concept that you have to know. It applies at every level of uh, structural organization. And that's what we'll be focusing on. We won't be looking at evolution and development much in the, the next videos. So I'll mention it now briefly. I mean, you know, evolutionary perspective, uh, which you, you have to understand if you want to understand anatomy and physiology. But the evolutionary perspective is really, I mean, you don't have to go back billions of years, but just millions of years and basically the, the question you should ask yourself is how does natural selection shape the functions of the nervous system the structural and, and functional functions of the nervous system that includes cognition cognitive fun processes and behavioral processes <clears throat> so you know how does these help how do these help in survival and reproduction that is you know and there are caveats as well it can get a bit complicated if you study evolutionary biology or evolution psychology you study this in more detail but you know please, uh, please print this powerpoint and have a read of this more if you're interested uh, but that's all i'm going to say on evolution right now um and the other thing i want to mention briefly is development now you have to know that i think if you're doing a level you have to know about evolution you have to a, a level biology you also have to know about the development of the nervous system 
<clears throat> so for example we have the growth and the differentiation process the differentiation of cells you end up with you know different types of cells and neurons uh, that you have to know well i mean i don't know if you need to know for a level but certainly for university there's no doubt about that you should know about the ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm if you're interested you know google it i'm not going to say more about it it's basically the layers from which you get all the different organ systems which then kind of mold that that you know the, the structural the structural changes that's the development and you go as you can see on the right here we have the, the egg we have embryo fetus and so on so yeah that, that's it that's all i'm going to say for evolution development i won't cover it again much for the rest of this video or further videos but you you should know that they're related they help you understand anatomy and physiology and that anatomy and physiology is the main thing we'll talk about in this video and further videos. So we'll cover all this uh, in future videos, not only the sensory and motor divisions, central nervous system, the brain and spinal cord, and the, the peripheral nervous system. We'll cover all this. The other thing is, uh, yeah, I mean, we'll look at, you know, different parts of the brains and how they work. If you look at the bottom here, the average human adult brain, uh, about three pounds, 2% of body weight uses like 25 up to, you know, I don't know, 35% of the brain, the, of the of the total energy that we, we use, pretty huge, and 100 billion neurons, 100 trillion interconnections. Now, that's very complex, and we will look at, I think, in <clears throat> perhaps section 3 and the section 5 and 6 especially, we'll try to we'll attempt to understand how these interconnections give rise to the huge complexity of the brain functions there's a lot there and uh, the number of combinations and permutations from this is you know i mean i am still kind of <laughs> speechless i was going to say no it's it's just we just know so little about the brain if you think about it and that is we have the human connectome project which aims to try to understand all these interconnections i'm still baffled by it after studying for many years but you don't you don't have to worry about that so yeah in the next videos we'll look at um, different parts of the brain uh, different lobes different substructures and then we have the cerebellum brainstem the diencephalon the, the the limbic system we'll cover more in section five and the hippocampus as well which i specialize in and various other parts of the brain sensory cortex uh, the motor systems oh yes motor systems and that's pretty much it this video was really just to introduce it's a contextual introduction or approach to neuroscience and also an introduction to the, this video series the, the introduction to just the next videos I'm gonna do I'm gonna cover specific topics in more detail uh, chemistry of cells and anatomy of different systems cognition computation and so on and that's pretty much it you see, that's that's all I have to say I guess just one further thing is uh, this video is uh, these bit vi these videos are about interdisciplinary and applied neuroscience and we can actually use interdisciplinary neuroscience and apply it to many different things. That's why it's so interesting. It's got real life applications and especially recently in the past 10 years or so, there's been some very interesting breakthroughs in, for example, so it's been involved with all other fields of study. <coughs> we also have developments in nanotechnology, bioengineering. We have medical breakthroughs, clinical breakthroughs, applications to medicine. It's also involved in mental health, education, we have technology, robotics, uh, something I've become more interested in. And s security, uh, marketing, especially when you look at AI, uh, artificial intelligence, and uh, finance and so on. We'll be looking at these, all of these in more detail in, in later videos. And pr that's pretty much it. Please download the link in the description, or download the, the file from the link, rather. And for books, I'll probably talk to you more about this at the end of the next video. We'll talk about books, we'll talk about things you might need for A-level, if, if you're in high school, or if 
you're already at universe or I'm sorry if, if you're in uh, sixth form and you're thinking of university textbooks we'll talk more about that in the in the next uh, video this is some uh, animation uh, you can check out <clears throat> and these are some uh, journal publications and papers on multidisciplinary neuroscience they're interesting paper please just download the the PowerPoint and download the file and just copy and paste these titles in a journal search article search have a read of them very interesting these are some websites Nature Neuroscience, Journal of Neuroscience, you have to use these when you're at university. Trends in Neuroscience, we have various other websites, Neuroscience Association, we have various other links, we have links to different universities, the neuroscience departments and different universities. Definitely check this out if you're interested in a degree or in a job or in a research. We have British universities, we have some US universities, Stanford, MIT and so on. We have this other universities around the world if you're interested. And you know, just again download the file. Um, and yeah, that's it. I mean, that's the end of section one, the, this first video. And as I said, please, you know, read through the description for more info. I'll leave a comment if you've got a question or a, any comment. And that's it. And in the next video, we'll be looking at the and also action potentials. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.